excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, in the place to be for a Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about NXT's Vengeance Day in Clarksville. Uh, we got uh, Wade Barrett on commentary with Vic Joseph. Booker T is out for, uh, I think he said, a few weeks. He got a little sur- uh, surgery and uh, this and that, but he will be back. So we got Wade Barrett and Vic Joseph, and I had fun with these two on commentary and uh, I gotta say out of my picks and predictions I only got one thing wrong one thing and that was uh we'll we'll, we'll get to it let's talk about the wolf dogs coming on some bikes (laughs) I love uh I love this uh, dusty tag team classic final Baron Corbin with uh, Braun Breaker versus Trick Mellow Gang and Baron and Braun got the win their chemistry is great. This match was fantastic. Trick got a busted lip. I'm, I love NXT pay-per-views because that's when everyone gets to shine the most. They, I mean, they brought it. They gave them enough time to do, do what they needed to do. Tell the story they needed to tell with Baron and Braun moving. Well, now they, they can go on to face on, the I believe, the family for the Tag Team Championships. And that could be a stand and deliver uh, WrestleMania 40 weekend. So a lot of stuff going on. But I love Baron coming out on the bike. Ooh. Then all, all of a sudden, here comes Braun. And, Braun, and uh, Baron's like, all right. And they kept saying the wolf dog. Vic Joseph kept saying the wolf dogs. And I was just like, I don't know. That as stupid as that name is, is growing on me a little bit more. And I was right by picking Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker for winning this. Um, no betrayal from Mello to Trick in this match. It was just a, a, a clean win from Baron and Braun. And they're getting go on, and we can tell some great stories with these two as a tag team. And I want to see them get the tag team championships. Not going to lie, because this was a fun match. Just seeing these two's chemistry throughout this tournament, fantastic. Um, next up is the no DQ match. The match I was wrong. I picked Joe Gacy, but Dijak got the win. But you talk about a fight. I mean, <laughs> and we got Joe putting toys on the table and uh, Dijak taking this crazy bump you know, onto that table. He took, he even hit the middle. He hit the side. And, you know, I, I, I was like, Oh shit. And my daughter's watching it with me. She's just like, before she went to school and she was just like, daddy, dad, look at that. I was like, yeah. And then she goes, tell Then, um, they brought out some duct tape and my daughter's like, what's he going to do with the duct tape? I don't know. Then he ducks tapes, die Jack's eyes, Joe Gacy, not giving a fuck, man. He, and there's a great spot where he's in the trash can and he's getting kicked and kicked and he keeps getting back up. And even with die Jack beating Joe Gacy, Joe Gacy had that devilish smile on his face. <laughs> and it was like, this ain't over. We're we're taking this to the extremes with these two, and I want more because uh, this was fun. This was a really really great match. Um, backstage we got uh, Thea and JC. The the calendars are here. The NXT Chase U calendars, and I was gonna get one, and they were gonna hit the thing, but now they're out of stock, and I was like, damn. <laughs> I've been uh, busy all morning uh, just trying to de- finish up a couple things on my day off. And I was like, oh, yeah, those like the calendars go on sale. And I looked and they were out of stock. They weren't fucking around. I really wanted the calendar from Chase U because I was just like, oh, I want to support. And, uh, but no, but I, one day, hopefully they do a reprint. We'll see what happens. I would just like to have that a part of my collection. And during like these segments with Chase U and the calendar signing and everything, we have Riley who asks uh, Thea to be his Valentine. Lexus King and Riley they get into it. it it's just um, a lot of fun stuff that's going on here. And we're gonna move on to this Tuesday's NXT. Next up, uh, the mixed tag team match: uh, the family, uh, the D'Angelo family versus OTM and uh, Jada Price with uh, scripts on the outside. I was right on this one. The family got the win, and this was a fun match, too. Just hard-hitting, you know, call Rizzo. She'll throw them hands. She'll throw them hands, but this was a fun match, and uh, the family wins, and I think OTM now goes to the bottom. Now I want to see if the family and Baron and Braun are going to gonna go after each other at Stand and Deliver, and they also announced the next pay-per-views um, besides Stand and Deliver. Uh, we have a NXT Roadblock, which is going to be a special on a Tuesday night. And we do have a uh, battleground, so a lot of great stuff coming up. 
for the year. And uh, yeah, two weekends of great wrestling, man. Um, the Royal Rumble and now Vengeance Day. Even with all the craziness in between, with all the Vince stuff and the rock and everything. I, so I'm just glad I got to watch a great show. Uh, that is uh, Vengeance Day. And uh, let's, uh, let's continue. We have uh, Izzy and Kiana, a little video package talking about Kalana Jordan and how they're like, yeah, she's not number one. We're number one. So we got to take her out. And uh, Kiana is uh, influencing Izzy and everything like that. Then we go to uh, Mello and uh, Trick backstage checking on each other. Mello's like, hey, man. And uh, he's, Trick's like, you didn't need to take the spear from me, bro. He's like, you're in the championship match tonight, man. Ilya would take advantage of that, and he would beat you. And he goes, but he goes thanks for getting my back. We're building we're building this brotherly love between each other. Where, you know what I'm saying? Like We're building it so when it gets taken away, we get crushed in our hearts when it happens. <laughs> um, next up. Up is the NXT Women's Championship match. La- Lyra Valkyria versus Roxanne Perez. Awesome. And then, uh, as I predicted, where was Lola going to fit in this? Well, she came out and a, uh, Tatum tried to stop her. But no, Lola then made this match into a triple threat. You talk about it being turned up a notch. I was already enjoying Lyra and Roxanne. Then when you add in Lola, Lola, who's a fierce striker, those kicks she does, man, and that, that like roundhouse kick she does, man, I had a lot of fun with this, and I'm glad that uh, Lyra got to retain, which was my choice. I said, she, no one's losing championships tonight. And Roxanne Perez and Lola, now they have a huge feud because um, after this match, uh, they were in the backstage brawling and beating the shit out of each other. So I was like, all right. Let's see where we go. And who's next on the list for Lyra to face? And now that contract's out of the way. We don't have to worry about that contract anymore. Who's next to step up to uh, Lyra Valkyria? Hmm? I'm hoping Tiffy. Tiffy time, baby. Tiffy time. And hopefully Roxanne Perez, after she finishes uh, this feud with Lola, uh, she finally goes up to the main roster where she belongs. Uh, NXT North American Championship, exactly what I said was going to be. Oba Femi is going to get the win over Dragon Lee. Uh, it was an okay match. Uh, Oba's just a big, big dude that's just going to hurt you. And he got Dragon Lee, got his number, and he retained that uh, NXT North American Championship. Um, now let's go into the main event. This is where I thought, I, I said Mellow Betrayal, but when was the betrayal going to happen? Was it going to cause uh, Trick Williams to lose... Uh, this match and uh, Ilya Dragunov did get the win, but there was hints there, you know, and uh, Mello accidentally hitting Trick Williams and everything like that. And uh, but Ilya and Trick they put on one hell of a match, one hell of a show, and they went balls to the wall with each other. Man, false finish after false finish, man. I was out of my seat a few times, and then I was just like, man, these two are gonna, these two are going at it. And I'm glad. That it was real. No, there, there was a ref bump, which was fine. And I was like, oh, this is where uh, Carmelo Hayes is going to get into uh, um, have Trick lose the match. But no, we had a referee and automatically come out. One, two, kick out. But Ilya Dragunov was, uh, got the best of Trick Williams and beat Trick. And yeah, it was like, oh, well, next time. Well, whoop that Trick. Huh? Whoop that Trick. Huh? And Trick... Is in the ring. He's sad because he lost. But Mello's like, yo, man, you're my brother. I love you. This and that. And all of a sudden, like, he looks. He Trick walks by him. And then you just see that devilish uh, gla- gaze. Glaze. Like glazed donuts. But that gaze. The devilish one that Mello gives him. And he just takes out Trick Williams. And that crowd's like, oh. I was like, how do we all not know this was going to happen? It's been building to this for a few weeks. Like, we, this was going to happen and it happened, and, you know, I, I was just surprised by everybody's reaction of like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I was like, yeah, this, yeah, we've been talking about this, folks. Eventually, it was going to happen. Carmelo got booed out of the building, you know. Good fuck you, Melo chance. Got some good heat, brother. That's what you want, but he took out Trick's leg, and no telling when we're going to see Trick Williams uh, you know, and I think we're going to have uh, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams at Stand and Deliver. Give Trick some time, then make the big baby face comeback. And bada bang, bada boom, you got your match. Uh, Lola, Roxanne, we got that. We got Lexus and Riley. So a lot of stuff out of this pay-per-view. I really enjoyed it. Five out of five. The the wolf dogs. <laughs> you know, match of the night. Oof, man. 
Uh, I got to say the Dusty Tag Team Classic Final. No, the NXT Championship match. That was that was a banger. Uh, that, everything was great. No, I got to say the NXT Championship, then the Dusty Tag Team, then the Women's uh, Championship match. Uh, then the no DQ. It's it. It's in all. But the, those are the top two matches right there for me. I really enjoyed them. I had a lot of fun sitting here and taking my notes and everything like that. So and hey, uh, five out of uh, six. I only got one wrong, and I picked Joe just because I was like, yeah, you know, he's a little crazy. So maybe he's gonna take it to Dijak, and he does. He does take it to Dijak. So right. He, he's looking good, and this feud ain't over, so drop your comments below. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, share with your grandma, share with your grandma, share with the bum down at Walmart. Uh, tell me what you thought of the show. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. These guys are on the same page, or is this a little bit of a one-upsmanship? Absolutely appear to be the case. I don't think...